The American eel is almost like a shapeshifter. It undergoes many changes in behavior and appearance during its lifetime. And throughout its life, it may occupy the broadest range of habitats of any fish in the world. In Canada, the American eel can be found in salt or brackish water along the east coast, also in streams, rivers and lakes across Atlantic Canada, and as far inland as the Lake Ontario and Ottawa River watersheds. The best way to better understand this slender and slippery creature is to follow its life cycle. Every single American eel that can be found in Canadian waters began its life in the Sargasso Sea which is an enormous gyre created by circular currents in the Atlantic Ocean near Bermuda. Each eel hatches from one tiny egg of millions laid by its mother. In larval form, the baby eel is called a leptocephalus and looks like a long, clear leaf with a head and mouth. It will float in the Gulf Stream for about a year before being sent by currents towards Canada. Each young eel will arrive in coastal estuaries in another form called a glass eel, which is no longer than a pinky finger. This stage of metamorphosis is short-lived and in less than two months, it will change again into a brown elver and make its way upstream following rivers and creeks. Small eels are camouflaged to hide during the day on the bottom of bodies of water and will continue to develop into capable nocturnal omnivores. They'll use their excellent sense of smell to locate food like insects, worms, fish, mollusks, crayfish, and plants. As they grow bigger, they will turn yellowish green and become juveniles called yellow eels. The bigger females can grow well over a meter long, weigh as much as a large bowling ball, and frequently live more than 20 years, generally twice as long as the smaller males. The last stage in an eel's life happens when they're fully mature and ready to reproduce or spawn. Their eyes and fins get bigger, they stop eating, and they turn a silver-gray color, all in preparation to return to the salt water where they started life. Once back in the Sargasso Sea, female silver eels will release their eggs. The males will fertilize them, and then both will die, having completed their life cycle. American eels can absorb oxygen through their skin, allowing them to survive in open air long enough to travel between bodies of water. They can slither across land and even climb up rocks. The slime on an eel can allow it to slip through tight spaces and avoid predation, but it also protects against parasites and disease. It might even help these fish adjust from salt to fresh water. American eels are prey to many different creatures at all the different stages of their life, from fish and other eels to various birds, including gulls, herons, and eagles. Also, raccoons, mink, otters, and even humans eat eels. In fact, the fall migration of American eels was critical for indigenous people across eastern Canada, providing an energy-rich food source that sustained families through the winter since time immemorial. More recently, eels supported large commercial fisheries for human consumption. These amazing fish are completely harmless to people, even though they may seem creepy to some and they're considered an indicator species for the health of the ecosystems they live in. When the eels are thriving, the habitat is in good shape. In the last 120 years, due to several factors, the once plentiful American eel has seen a severe decline in numbers and has even been eliminated from many parts of its original range. This species has had migration routes blocked or been killed by hydro dam turbines has been overfished and is also affected by pollution and altered ocean currents due to climate change. This dam has a fish ladder to help eels get upstream and a bypass route for safe passage downstream. Thanks to indigenous traditional knowledge and increased scientific study, we are understanding eels more and identifying the changes needed to protect and recover American eel populations for generations to come. To learn more about the American eel, visit hww.ca.